I would love to run the Olympic standard, which is 226.50. And if I'm honest, I feel fit and ready to run quicker than that. Obviously, you can't be unhappy with a PB, but I feel like I've put a lot more work in and I'm ready to run a lot quicker than just a few seconds off what I ran in Copenhagen. So I just want to leave it all out there and do everyone proud. Should we take some stuff to the car? Goodbye. Good luck. Thanks for being Have fun. Welcome to America's Friendliest Airport. Hunger is illegal for the next two days. Straight to jail. If you're hungry, straight to jail. Because you need to not be hungry. If you're hungry, it means you could be eating carbs. Yeah, your, your, your bag. In my bag, I got a Chevron Houston Marathon lunchbox. What she call it? Bento box. Bento box. Ooh. I got my 5K, 10K, 15K, 20K, 25K, 30K, 35K aid station drinks. Done my tax form in case I win any money. I think I have a towel. Mm -hmm. Soak up all my sweat. And I think we're gonna go get some dinner and I'll do my shakeout after that. After the whole palaver that was getting you in here without having to pay $500. <laughs> <laughs> Which, thankfully, I have someone else to sort that out for me, so we're all good. Thank you, Hess. Thank you, Hess. Yes. Ready? Let's go get some dinner. I'm very tired. It's actually only quarter to eight. Flagstaff time, but because there's a one hour time difference, it's quarter to nine. And we left the house in Flag at quarter to eight this morning. It's been pretty long travel day, actually. It's not been like super like tiring in terms of time on feet, but I feel like travel is just tiring. I feel like once we got the room situation sorted out, the most important thing to do was to eat because I was hungry. And I said I wasn't gonna be hungry today. If you went hungry, Straight to jail. Went and got food in and then I thought, oh, I'll just jump on the treadmill for my shakeout afterwards. But I've just spoken to my coach and we both think it's more smart that I just get more sleep. Because if I go and run on the treadmill now for half an hour, my body's just gonna be super awake and it's probably gonna be hard for me to get to sleep. So I'm gonna do some mobility work just to get my body kind of loosened up from the travel. Do that instead of a shakeout. That'll take me 15 minutes, have a shower, get some sleep and then I've been given permission to run one whole mile extra tomorrow in place of the run I haven't done today. We'll call it a rest day, impromptu. It's fine. In the grand scheme of things, it's not gonna affect anything. Hopefully, I won't feel super tight tomorrow. Sometimes I just feel a bit kind of sluggish after a rest day or a non-running day, but that's what all the mobility is for. And honestly, all that matters is that I feel good on Sunday. And we're gonna feel good on Sunday because forecast looks good, plan looks good, the race looks good, we're gonna feel good. So, yes, I'm gonna go do that.
What time is it? Breakfast time. Oatmeal. Rate it out of 10. It's um, very sloppy. I feel like I need to add some more oats to it. It's more meal than oat. Take two. Take two. All right, we've had breakfast. What is next on the uh, day before marathon list? Bottle time! <laughs> Our favourite. Arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. And they're gonna have decoration stuff down there too, so we could take our stuff down there to do it, if you want. Wanna get a bit artsy and crafty. But then we'd have the same decoration stuff as everyone else. Yeah, so just... maybe, no. Maybe we just draw little rude shapes on the bottles. <laughs> bottles, bottles, give me the bottles. I wanna decorate the bottles, the bottles, 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 bottles. You good? This is the day before the race, people. I've got 24 hours. In 24 hours time, I'll be done. <laughs> Which means I still have 21 and a half hours and a few minutes until I start the race. Let's decorate the bottles. All right, for people that maybe are like new here. Like new here? Oh my God. Are you like new here? <laughs> What, um, why, what, what, the, what, the, what the hell are you doing? I'm making my receptacles for my super juice stand out so that I can see them when I am in severe pain at every five kilometer mark. Well, shouldn't be in severe pain until the latter ones, but you never know. Basically, the absolute angels over at OTE Sports have sponsored me, which means I get to consume their delicious super carbs during the race. What are super carbs, you may ask? Well, in each one of these bottles will be approximately 180 mils of delicious, fueling, powerful super juice that every time I take one of these, it's gonna give me superpowers and make sure I don't bonk by running out of carbohydrates. And the elite athletes all have their bottles on the tables that are every five kilometers at the aid stations. Now. Don't be misled. My name is spelt with one L, but race organizers like to mess with me. And basically you need to be able to spot your bottles because if everyone has these types of bottles, which they won't because they're not as cool as me, you won't be able to tell which bottle is yours and you don't want to drink someone else's fuel because you've trained with your stuff that your stomach and your brain is used to. So I'm gonna make mine stand out and also be the sexiest bottles you've ever seen because they're gonna have bright green duct tape on them and I'm just hoping that no one else has thought the same as me for tomorrow because there were brownies at dinner and I really want one, but I don't want one right now. I've had all the carbohydrates and I'm gonna save this one for tomorrow. Everything I need for tomorrow is in there. Mm -hmm. I think let's set the alarm for four o'clock, get up, go down, get some food. Mm -hmm. What time does that open? The little snack room. 
I just need hot water from them. Elite Athlete Hospitality Suite opens at 4 a.m. So we'll get up at four, get dressed, maybe actually get up, go down there, just throw some trackies on, get the hot water, get the breakfast stuff, come back up here with it. And then that should give us maybe just under an hour to get dressed. Make sure that I've got everything in here because this is the only bag I'm allowed to take with me. I can't take my rucksack. Put the space buns in, maybe be sipping on some more carbs. And then let's aim to leave this room at 5 a.m. That's when the buses are gonna arrive, but it's gonna take us a while to get a lift to get downstairs, an elevator, and then the buses leave at 5.25. But we wanna be there when they're ready to load. And Helen will be downstairs, and you guys can make your way to the start as well. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Maybe I'll just read over my plan for tomorrow and my mindset stuff. Nice. And just make sure that everything is around. I need a shower, because I need to shave. We haven't even shown anyone, like, properly your nails. <laughs> Whoa. And they match the shoes. Is that even a question? Do they <laughs> match the shoes? Uh, yeah, they match the shoes. Damn. Yeah. And this one has a flame on it, which means I'm going to be super fast. Because it's like, ah, so fast it's hot. So if I'm struggling at any point, I can just turn on the turbos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right, is this good night? Go Bills. Connor will love that. <laughs> huh? Let me go there. Purge from a sachet. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> I want so much more. My appetite is minimal. Force feeding. See you on the course. Bye. Bye. Bye.
And I was like, just stop looking at it and just like yeah. focus on the next person. And I was just like rallying, rallying, rallying. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna finish this race. And then I thought I was gonna go sub 229, but I just missed it. So yeah. I'm proud of myself for going for it. I don't regret like going for it. I kind of eased back a bit at the start. Yeah. It felt like the right thing to do. That guy didn't pace anyone. No. Oh, no. Yeah. I was thinking like, what is he doing? He's just getting a workout out of it. Because even 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 Leslie, like, who went with him. Love uh, the grind, eh? Love the grind. <laughs> As a different way to run. Oh, Basically the same time that I ran before. But you still learn a lot from doing that. Yeah. I think part way through I was like, okay, next time let's when I sit we sit down, let's go for the slower time at the start and just build into it but like who was to say I wasn't gonna start off at 25 and then run 24 30 like I was going for it so less support but like whenever there was any I was like ah, take it in but I'm just glad I finished it and I didn't like blow up blow up I just kind of well on a tough day you've run a PB yeah can't say fairer than that yeah another one done this guy that went past me at the end like 5k before the end, I met him at the end, he was like, I was like, oh, I wish I could have gone with you, and he was like, my marathon career is over, and I was like, you never know, he was like, I know. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fair enough. It's never been this bad straight away before. Oh, yeah. My legs have never felt this bad straight away before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drink my t-shirt now. <laughs> More weight for my suitcase. Do it. <laughs> you can tell when other people. Oh my god. That was two blisters and that's now a blood blister. It's just moved back. It really hurts actually. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I took my buns off. <laughs> Proud of you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm proud of me too. No, I'm not proud. I'm in awe actually. Because, <laughs> yeah, your mentality, your strength through that was just incredible. It's funny because I said to Helen, when we sat down and spoke about what we were going for, and we said the A goal was, you know, 225 to 226, and that's what I started out at. The B goal was hitting that Olympic standard, 226.50. She said, you know, let's write a C goal of like 228. You're in better shape than that, but that would still be like B plus plus day. And I sat there and I was just sort of like shrugged it off. In that moment, I said, if I ran 228, I think it would take me a few hours or a little bit longer after the race to be proud of that performance and to be proud of myself. And I ran even slower than that. And I was immediately proud. I was proud of myself whilst I was running. And I think that, you know, that's really cool. It got tough way earlier than I thought it would. That's probably the hardest marathon I've ever run because it got tough earlier than it did in my debut, way earlier than it did in Copenhagen. I, I ran basically the same time I ran in Copenhagen. I did a two, two second PB. So I'm, I'm working the system. I'm just shaving some time off there, but I'm really proud of it. It's a much tougher way to run basically the same time that I ran in Copenhagen but I never once gave up I thought about it but I sort of <clears throat> visualized what that scenario would look like and if I dropped out because it was hard 
what would happen. I'd get on the SAG bus, I'd get sweeped up, you guys would be worried about me. All these people that have come to watch and the people that have supported me through the block wouldn't get to see me finish a marathon. And then I'd have to go into the next one knowing that I didn't finish the last one. And I thought, no, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna finish this marathon and I'm gonna finish it hard. And I kept rallying. So I, I'd run a 550 split, which is, you know, 15, 16 seconds off what I was aiming to run. And then I'd run a 545 split and then I'd run a 552 and then a 542. And I just kept believing that the tough part could come to an end and I could feel good again. I didn't, <laughs> but I'm so proud of myself for rallying and being really, really tough out there today and just being positive when it would have been way, way easier to be negative. Took a lot of energy to stay positive, but I've worked so hard to get my mindset into a really good place and it saved me today. I think I'd have run a lot slower if I didn't have all of that kind of, all of those tools ready to rally and get every last bit out of myself. So I've done that and now my legs really hurt. But I'm sure there's other people that are gonna be hobbling around today and you can see the finish from our window and every single person that's running down that finish right now has a completely different story of how their marathon has gone. And today was so different from Copenhagen and so different from my first marathon as well. And I feel like that's just the most beautiful thing about the marathon because every time you get a totally different experience and you learn a lot and you only learn by doing it. So no regrets. I shot my shot today and I'll be back later this year to run faster. But first, I'm gonna go and try and eat some food and shower because I probably stink. I guess come back for the full recap. I'm gonna have a meeting with my sports psych tomorrow. I'm gonna talk through everything that happened and I will give you a detailed breakdown of the race. Love the grind.